Everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to adjust the margin of an element. This is very similar to the last one, whereas instead of working in the last episode we used uh, padding, in this one we're going to adjust margin. And just, I'm going to right click and press inspect on this button element here, just to give us an idea for how this works. The, um, in the last one we did padding, and now we're going to do margin, which is um, this next level on the outside. Okay, so an element's margin controls the amount of space between an element's border and the surrounding elements. Um, this would be an example of the margin. Here we can see the blue box and the red box are nested within the yellow box. Note that the red box has a bigger margin than the blue box. The red box has a bigger margin than the blue box. Do you see how this part right here and this part right here are not the same? So what we want to do is change the margin of the blue box to match that of the red box. So if we, this is all of our CSS selectors. We see the blue box and we want to make it match the red box. So if we look at the margin of the red box, it's 20 pixels. We look at the margin of the blue box, it's 10 pixels. So we just change that to 20. And now they're the same. Let's exaggerate real quick just to give us an idea for what that means. If we crank up the margin, it makes it so the margin on all sides is 80 pixels, which is obviously, um, it's really large. And so you can just adjust things like that. If we were to uh, match, uh, if we were to alter the uh, padding or the margin of the red box and make it 50, we could do that also to the blue box and we would have 50. Now they're the same. And uh, let's see if, the t if they pass at 20, at 50 pixels. Okay, cool. It says it doesn't pass. Why is that? Because we set it to 50. So we want to set both of them to 20. And then when we run the tests, they should pass. Great. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found the video useful. And if you have any ideas on things that I can, uh, on video tutorials that would be helpful for you, leave a comment in the section below. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.